Amid civilians joining the fight, now Israeli TV actors have also vowed to fight for the nation and its people. For Forda stars, this is not uh, uh, some set where they are shooting, this is not real life, but it is all happening in real life. Many of them have joined this battle and are fighting at front lines. This is real life from Rona Lee to Idan Ahmadi to Lior Ras. The popular Israeli actors have come out and called out the Hamas savagery in one voice. Take a look at this report. Fighting Hamas terror. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, oh. Rescuing two families. Powder stars at front lines. They are back in action. Our reality. Don't be mistaken, Hamas are not freedom fighters. They are terrorists whose only goal is to destroy Israel. Team Fauda is hunting down Hamas terrorists amid a chaotic chain of events. Undercover, they are at rescue, saving families, holding guns, fighting for their Israeli brothers and sisters. But this isn't what you're thinking. You're not watching an episode of famous action thriller Fauda. This is not real life, but real life. Father stars Leo Raz and Idan Emedi are leading the charge at front line, this time for real. Leo Raz volunteered to join the Brothers in Arms group to fight against Hamas in the ongoing war. He witnessed terrorist missile launches, took cover behind a wall while rockets flew overhead. At a time when the city is bombarded by Hamas, Leo Raz joined Brothers in Arms to help other army men. He was sent to bombarded town of Sederot to extract two families. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. oh. But he's not alone, because in a team spirit, his co-star Idan Emedi is too playing a real-life hero. For him, the only goal is to protect the people of his country. This actor, who has often lifted a gun at the sets and behind the screens, is today once again holding a weapon, but this time for Israeli Defense Force, to wipe out the real demons. They would have never thought that the characters they played in the series Fauda once would come out alive this way someday. These actors are resolute, fight for the country and no tolerance for terrorism. They have vowed to do anything and everything for their country. Deeply moved by the loss of innocent lives in attacks by Hamas, they have pledged their commitment to Israel. What all you had been doing to get them back? The first thing that we have been doing is obviously sharing this atrocities with the world and and getting support from all the leaders of the free world in the help of getting our hostages back. I know it's a really tough time for all of you and it's really very painful to talk about those things again and again. But do you think that you will be able to change heart of organization like Hamas, a terror organization? You'll be able to stir the conscience of this organization who did not spare even women and children? It's a very tough question. I, I, and I will say this with the utmost sorrow that anyone could feel. I think that some people are beyond help. 
because if there is any human being that could have done what these people have done to our babies and to our women, these are not people that will ever be able to hear us or talk to us or have any conversation about anything else but bloodshed. It's our reality. While the world is full of apologists, these actors have joined the mission, exposing the dark reality to the world. Their voice is loud and clear, Hamas is ISIS. All they want is to destroy Israel and kill Jews around the world. These tragic stories are not fake, it's our reality. Don't be mistaken, Hamas are not freedom fighters. They are terrorists whose only goal is to destroy Israel and kill Jews around the world. I know these atrocities sound unimaginable, but these are the facts. In these times, I ask you to stay alert and don't spread false information. Remember, all of this terror has the same address. Hamas. Hamas is ISIS. Actors joining this fight along with hundreds of civilians and thousands of Israeli army men is a wake-up call to the world. It is time to unite against terror, pray for people's well-being and long for peace in one voice. Bureau Report, Times Now.